Coach Laird here. I wanted to do a follow-up to one of my blogs the other day. Um, alternative movements for the bench press. Okay, for baseball players specifically, but this can go for overhead athletes in general. We've got to make accommodations. We've talked about this before for baseball players. We did the in-season lifting importance the other day. We have to make sure that when we're in the weight room, we are keeping ourselves healthy to where we enable ourselves to play our sport. Okay, the, the strength coach's number one job is to keep his athletes healthy then to get stronger, faster, more explosive. So, these alternative movements are to keep you healthy. Now, why is the bench press not okay for an overhead athlete slash baseball player to perform? Well, one, the scaps are not able to move freely. We want the scaps to be able to move freely and be mobile, okay? That locks us in position. If we grab a regular barbell, our hands are in a fixed position. As we come down, the elbow gets here past the midline of my body, the humeral head will glide forward, okay? It creates impingement in the shoulder. If you have problems with this, which you will as an overhead athlete, take it from a guy who's had two labral surgeries. One of them ended my career. The latest one is because I never created a thoracic mobility in my spine. It wasn't fixed in the first place. So there's a lot of factors that go into this. You have to have mobility. You have to make sure you're doing your prehab. You have to make sure you're increasing thoracic mobility, scapular mobility, the efficient of the movement. But also we have to make sure we're not doing the wrong movements in the weight room. So, the alternative movements. Three board press. Athlete can put the board on top of his chest, okay? If you're using a regular barbell, this is for a regular barbell. You either tuck it under the shirt or a partner holds this. As you, he comes down, this is decreasing the range of motion. It keeps his elbow right here. So as you would see, the barbell will be touching right here. My elbow's in a good position to midline my body. Another alternative movement, which I utilize a lot more of, because it's safer, is the four board press. It decreases the range of motion even more. All these are two by six boards, okay? You can get these at Lowe's, come in half, glue them, drill them together. It's real simple, it's real easy. If your weight room at high school doesn't have this, this is very easy to go to Lowe's make yourself and leave in the weight room. So here, again, it's on my chest. If you want to talk about bench press um, mechanics and how I'm talking about technique, find another video on my YouTube channel, okay? So, this decreases the range of motion even more. So, if I'm touching the board right here, you see where my elbow's at. This is a lot safer position, okay? I would make it mandatory as a strength coach in high school and also now running Laird's training for all my overhead athletes. We're doing these alternative movements. Now, not just the board presses, okay? There's a specialty bar called a Swiss bar. This is from Elite FTS. This puts my hands in a neutral grip position, okay? Was I'm bench pressing, I want my elbows to be at 4 o'clock and 8 o'clock if I'm looking at a clock, okay? Also, if you want to think about an easy way to see and talk about bench press technique, I want to think about pushing a car. How would I push a car? I'm not going to push my car out this way. If you see the elbows flaring out on yourself or another athlete, fix that, okay? That's going to create even more impingement issues and a lot more problems in your shoulder than you want to deal with. 4 to 8 o'clock, how would you push a car if the car breaks down just like this? This right here puts us in a lot safer neutral grip position, okay? We will utilize the inside neutral grip and the middle neutral grip 90% of the time when using this bar. A lot of athletes and a lot of coaches will call us a football bar as well. Same thing, it's the same, same purpose, okay? So I'll give you a couple reps and see how this mo uh, mo mobility and range of motion works. So I'm going to get myself set underneath, get my feet set underneath my knees, create an arch, scaps are set. Lift the bar out, set the weight, bring it down. You see the neutral grip position. I'm in a good position, nice and under control. All the way up, bracket back up. These are three alternative movements that you can do. One last movement, you could do a bench press with chains, with weight, heavy weight. That could be your max effort or your strength effort movement for the upper body that week. In season, pitchers, you're only touching dumbbells, okay? I would advise all baseball players to only be using dumbbells in season, but you can use a Swiss bar. One of my athletes, TJ Harmon, is pitching at Ball State right now, was with me for three years before college. We lit up the Swiss bar all the time. He never had a shoulder issue in his life. Busted his butt, and now he's playing D1 ball. So this stuff works. Again, be smart in the weight room. Your goal is to be healthy. This is easy to make, easy alternative movements. Now there's no excuse for you not to know what to do in the weight room. Coach Laird, make sure you subscribe to my YouTube channel for more videos and updates. Subscribe to my email updates on LairdsTraining.com so you can get emails for new videos, new blogs, as well as events I'm going to be hosting around North Central Indiana. Till next time, Coach Laird.